In this video, I will show you how to fix iPhone sending green messages on iOS 18. When you send a message and it shows up in green, it means the message is being sent as SMS text instead of an iMessage. This can happen for several reasons, but don't worry, I'll walk you through some simple steps to get it working again. First things first, ensure that your internet connection is stable. A poor connection can cause your messages to default to SMS, which shows up as green bubbles. Check if you're connected to Wi-Fi or using cellular data. If the signal is weak, consider switching networks or moving closer to your router for a better connection. Once you've confirmed a good internet connection, let's head into the Settings app. Scroll down until you reach the bottom. Tap Apps. Next, scroll down again until you see Messages. Tap on it. Now, look for iMessage at the top of this menu. Make sure it's toggled on. If it's already enabled, try toggling it off and waiting about 10 to 20 seconds before turning it back on. Next, tap on Send and Receive. Here, make sure your Apple ID account is selected. After making these adjustments, test if the issue persists by sending a message to someone who also uses an iPhone. If everything looks good and you see those blue bubbles again, great job. However, if not, don't worry, there are more steps we can take. Open up the Settings app, then tap on General. Scroll down until you find Transfer or Reset iPhone, tap on it. Then select Reset. From here, choose Reset Network Settings. You'll need to enter your device passcode for confirmation. Once done, tap Reset Network Settings one more time to confirm this action. This will clear out any potential glitches affecting your connectivity and should help restore proper messaging functionality. After resetting network settings, check once again if iMessage is still enabled. Additionally, ensure that you're running the latest version of iOS. And there you have it. With these simple steps, hopefully those pesky green messages will be a thing of the past. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.